I, I was simply saying that this is not a mere matter of speculation, that there's more than a tiny bit of evidence on but, the table. But, it's, but it's, he's saying but Evidence that, for what? Evidence for a beginning of the universe. Yes. Well, we know that. Nobody just... Right, well, that's that. what I'm offering in this first argument, is that, the evidence. But, but, but because why? the beginning doesn't it. imply a God. <laughs> It does if the first premise is true, that whatever begins to exist has a cause. It logically follows yeah, that but therefore... It doesn't, but, but the cause hasn't got to be God. Well, remember I gave a, a, an argument for thinking that this cause is timeless, yes, spaceless, immaterial, uh, enormously powerful, and personal. I think it's a computer. Well, that wouldn't... Uh, computers are designed by people. I no, mean, no, this is a self-designing computer. Uh -huh. Timeless. Timeless. Well, that's a contradiction in terms. Why is it timeless? What's contradictory about it? A, a computer has to function, it takes Oh no, time. this is a special computer. <laughs> yeah, but it has to be logically coherent. Oh, it's logically coherent. Yes, you have to be logically coherent. Oh no, coherent. this and, computer and besides, is amazing. No, it, it, besides, it, it would have to be, as I said, a personal being. No. In, a computer is a physical Not this computer. Object. Oh well, then, no. Okay, see, what you're doing is you're actually, what you're calling a computer is really God. A, a, a non-physical, non... It's just, it's just another word if you rob it of all the attributes that make it a computer.